Hello friends and neighbors. In this exercise, we will show how writing just a few lines of JavaScript will allow you to render, browse, and discover the thousands of HTML code symbols and icons that are available as numeric codes. Flat icons are all the rage right now in web development, so let's go exploring. Here is an example of what will dynamically render on your page when you run these few lines of JavaScript. So we just set a low range and then a high range. So I set 9985 and the high range was 10174. So I get all of those symbols rendered to the page. Then you can set a range between any two numbers that you want to see all of the symbols all at once or just sets at a time. Okay, get any old example HTML file ready in your favorite code editor. And the code editor doesn't really matter. We're going to type in a div and give it an ID equal to icons. And then we'll just go down and make sure we close that div. Because inside of this div is where we're going to render a lot of divs nested inside of there. Or you can render it into a table which might be cleaner looking to you. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to use divs to keep the code as little as possible. But you can expand it into a table setup. Alright, now I'm going to pop in some CSS. And what we're doing is we're targeting the icons div. Then we're targeting any child divs that are within the icons div. So here we're going to dynamically render a whole lot of divs through script. Or if you want to make it a table, you can render a whole lot of table cells and table rows. Okay, so this rule targets any child divs that are inside of this icons container. And then this rule targets any B tags that are inside of those child divs. So if there's any bold tags that are inside, they're going to get these properties applied. So the CSS is very simple. Now we'll go into our icons container and we're going to type in script. Make sure we close that script element. And then we're just going to set up a for loop and that's how we dynamically and magically render all of those icons with just a couple of lines of code. So we say for var i is equal to 9985 and you can start at any number you want. It could be zero or even a higher number than 9985. And the next parameter for the for loop is going to be while i is less than 10,000. 175 semicolon and the last parameter is I plus plus so basically what this for loop is set up to do now is run from index 9985 all the way up to 10175 now we're simply going to document dot write and in between parentheses we'll write what we want to magically render to the page so first we'll put the opening div tag then we'll go down one line or a couple of lines and put the closing div tag so we're gonna get a whole lot of divs written to the page dynamically now let's say what if we were to just write I in between there let's just put the I variable into the div and see what happens you see you get all of your numbers okay now watch how easy and slick this is first put a set of double quotes and then we'll put a plus sign to append the number, the i index number, to this string that we're about to put here. Ampersand, pound symbol. So we're going to have ampersand, pound symbol, then the dynamic number. Then we append to that another set of double quotes and finally the semicolon. And that's what gives you the special HTML code to render the symbol. Now I'll render this in my favorite browser. And you see? We see all of those symbols. Now all I have to do is put them in between a B tag and then I'll get the styling that I want because that CSS will now apply to anything that's in the B tag. So let's check out what we have now. And you can see them much bigger, much clearer now. And above that we can also just write the, the written version so people can visually see what the HTML code is that renders that symbol. And to do that you pretty much do the same as you did here, but you just put and amp to make sure that it's not going to render as the symbol. It will just render as the string needed to render that symbol. So there you go. Now you could run through any range of numbers that you want. So I'll go from 9,000 to 12,000. 
and see what symbols we get. It's going to be a ton of them. Look at all that. But most of these symbols will render in all of the popular browsers nowadays. Where you see symbols. Look at all these cool symbols. But a lot of them are icons that you can actually use for web. Here's some dice. One, two, three, four, five, six in dice, and you can use that for web games or whatever that have dice rolls. You don't have to have any images. You can just give the entity representation of the numbers one through six. More arrows. Illuminati and Satan symbols, religious symbols. Freemason symbolism, a lot of brainwashing, and there's also a lot of scientific symbols. And if we start at zero, and we go to something like 500, you can see where it starts. It starts with letters and punctuation. The first bunch is missing, and then you have all of the letters on a keyboard, all of the characters that are on a keyboard come first. And then you start getting into some symbols. And then a lot of the lettering for other languages and Latin and stuff. And then the higher you get, the more you get into all the cool little symbols.